What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Jaime Munguia. John Ryder, get this. Jaime Munguia versus John Ryder. Um, you know they're squaring off tomorrow, okay? It's going to be a DAZN cod. It should be explosive. I hope the best of both guys. And Oscar De La Hoya believes that Jaime Munguia, by beating John Ryder, will make him this superstar that he always was supposed to be. And my counterpunch to that is, how the hell you figured that, Oscar? Really? And the only thing I can come up with is the fact that Oscar De La Hoya um, is trying to compare Jaime Muguia's performance against John Ryder to Canelo's performance against John Ryder, which we all know people... Canelo didn't look good in that fight. He didn't look impressive. He looked slow. He looked like he missed a step or two. Okay. He looked like he didn't really go in there to do everything that we are accustomed to seeing him do. Maybe he's just getting tired. Maybe it's the silk pajamas. Maybe it's the other distractions outside the ring. I don't know, like money, you know, women, <laughs> booze, right? Maybe, maybe that's the case. I'm not sure. But I think Oscar is picking up on that. And he's trying to, you know, run that narrative that, hey, Jaime Mugi is a star. He's a star. Una estrella. Una estrella. <laughs> but listen, listen. This is just another fight for Jaime Mugi. John Ryder is a guy that, sure, he had a tough fight with um, Callum Smith, and a lot of people thought he won. But that was a while ago, wasn't it? Wasn't that two or three years ago? Okay, so that being said, I, I do think, I do honestly think that Jaime Mugia will beat John Ryder, but that won't make him a star. The The truth of the matter is, you know, Oscar De La Hoya has really kind of failed him as a promoter. I mean, he's made him money, but Jaime Mugia is nearly, is nowhere near he's supposed to be. Neither, none the... He is never. He is not anywhere close to the fighter that we thought he would be. Jaime Mugia was supposed to fall and replace Canelo. Canelo should be sitting back eating olives and pineapples and shit on a yacht. Okay, looking at the new rising star from Tijuana. But he ain't. He's a guy that's trying to get fights after fights after fights and dealing with people that really don't want to deal with him. You know what I mean? Those Charlo fights and all that. You know, the Andrade fight, if you can remember that. You know, so it's almost like, okay, well, you know, Jaime Mugia is a guy that he should have be, he should be somewhere far, you know, but who knows? That's how things work, right? But yeah, I look forward to the fight. I will go live for it, you know, and I think the fight will be, again, it really depends on how much John Ryder still has left because the Canelo fight shattered his nose, you know, and he he was in there with uh, Callum Smith, you know what I mean? And I just think he's, you know, I mean, he beat, he, he decisioned um, Danny Jacobs, remember that? So, you know, um, he's coming to fight and hopefully we'll see a good fight, but I just see the younger, stronger fighter beating him. So I don't see the significance of what Oscar De La Hoya expects to gain from a fight with John Ryder. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Jaime Mugia, John Ryder, face-to-face. -face. I will be there live. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!